Hey everyone, this is the Bearded Zeno, and oh my goodness, I'm glad I finally have another Hot Toys to unbox. This has been a long time with the mega. I've been making so many freaking payments. It's nice to finally have two, yes, two, two more to, to unbox. So, uh, we have the Rocket Raccoon Deluxe from Guards of the Galaxy 2, and we have the Star Lord Deluxe from Guards of the Galaxy 2. Now, I just want to note. They're just like off the bat, like Rocket's box looks bigger. So I'm not, I'm not sure what's up with that. But in this video, we're gonna be opening up Rocket, because um, I've noticed whenever I do two unboxings in one video, like it doesn't do as well because people just search for specific ones. So we're just gonna do Rocket first in this one. I mean, it's kind of pointless because you've already seen that because you've seen the title. But you know. Uh, oh, I'm so excited, so excited, because I've had that Drax in anticipation for this for months now. Probably six months. No, uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's been it's been a while. He's been he's been in there for a while. Um, I forgot to cut the top. <laughs> and this is, is this the bottom? No, they just put the shipping label upside down. Okay, okay, okay. So excited. Oh, oh. Ooh, it's just so good to finally have a Hot Toys again. Okay. Like right off the bat, this box is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Let me get out of the plastic so you guys can see. I mean, these figures are all, all news at this point. It's pretty much the gist of me and my Hot Toys collecting. I'm not really... Edge of the, the, the fucking knife. He's going to show, oh look, this is the figure that just came out in Hong Kong. No, I order my stuff through payment plans at Sideshow because I am just a regular player. I am not some YouTuber who is going to pay that extra money to get that shit day one just to get the extra views. It's not worth it to me. It's not worth it to me. I'd, I'd rather get the regular release, you know, because it's easier. It's, it's easier because you don't have to pay it all at once and you don't have to pay exorbitant fees. Sometimes it ends up costing them like twice the amount of what this figure would be a sideshow just to get it early. No. No. <laughs> Anyways, um, and you see this box is fantastic. I like this guy uh, rocking on here. From what I've seen, this is pretty much the gist for all the Guardians Galaxy 2 ones, which is cool. I like, whoa, I like the boxes that are unique. You see you got the awesome Mix Volume 2 tape inside there. And... Yeah, cause it, like I said, these are all the deluxe editions, both this and Star Lord. Um, you don't really need the deluxe editions for these guys. With Rocket, I feel like you do, um, but Star Lord, not really. Um, but I, I wanted it because it looked cool. Because I like the extra jacket with it. Ooh, ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. Look at look, look at all this. Look at all this in this packaging, and this is the figure. <laughs> <laughs> Look how small that is compared to all this packaging. There's there's a figure right there. <laughs> oh man. I'm so excited for this figure. I didn't get any of the Guardians one ones. I guess you can count Drax. Um I kinda was a Guardians too. Even those bases one because it, it took him forever to release Drax, you know. And he's uh, the same quality that these are gonna be, because the original ones haven't aged that well, uh, especially Star Lord, like this new Star Lord face sculpt just looks fantastic compared to that thing. So, get you guys in close. Oh, there's so much plastic. This tripod has seen better days. It's about to die. Just so wobbly and weak. Okay, uh, where do we start? Um, where do we always start? Where you should start the instructions. See if there's anything particularly we need to worry about this little guy. There you go, my phone. Uh. Oh wow! I wish they would do this for every fucking figure. See the articulation points, because there's some figures where it's just confusing. Like, is this a double joint? What's going on here? And this shows you every single point of articulation on this guy, and that's cool. I like that. They need to start doing this. For every figure. I like this a lot. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> so it's here. Indicated, indicated, the indicated hands can be attached to the figure. 
I mean, that's the only hands that he comes with. <laughs> okay. Um, interchangeable feet. So it should just be feet. That <laughs> interchangeable feet. <laughs> ah. Good English, there, hot toys. Um, like normally, they're pretty good about translation, but sometimes feats slip through. <laughs> um, see, the arm can go up to seventy. Ugh, that's not good. I'm not sure about that. We'll test it and see. Um, the elbows can be bent up to a hundred. The legs, seventy. I think is about right, just because where the pants are. Uh, go up to eighty. Uh, probably won't even be able to do that. Uh, the tail it says it can go in 360 degrees, which is on a ball joint from what I've seen, so <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. Um, first, attach the head and. Oh, we're in the jetpack. Okay. Attach the head and both arms. Take off the back thing. Then you snap that together and put, oh, put that over there. Put on the back, and then you have the arrow rig. I might actually keep the arrow rig on him, just because it looks really cool. It gives him more character definition. I don't know, I'll have to play around with it and see. Okay, you got the big gun, which comes with the deluxe edition. Uh, let's see. So you take the arm off, feed it through there, and then put the arm back on. That's that's actually pretty genius. That's I like that. And then it tells you how to put the little Groot on his shoulder. Which, uh, I've seen where some people's gets damaged, other people's have it, so I guess it's just a matter of force that you put put it on there. So, uh, yeah, uh, I might do that, might not, just depends on what, what it looks like, you know, uh, but I really like to look at this little baby group figure in here. <laughs> and then, cause you can loosen the thing, put it up and down, like the, that shows you what the fuck, okay. It is recommended to use the indicated hands to hold the weapon, not his weapon, or the big weapon, just the weapon. Okay. And don't try to bend the arms backwards, otherwise the figure will be damaged. Okay, okay don't bend the arms backwards, or you break them. Don't bend or remove the whiskers, Whoa. Uh, the figure will be damaged. Outfit is not detachable, don't try to take it off. It doesn't say the figure will be damaged, it says don't try to take it off. Okay, thank you for being demanding, Hot Toys. Now that we're eight minutes into this unboxing, let's get to the unboxing. <laughs> uh, see, most people, they don't really go too detailed in the instructions. They just kind of give their own general thoughts about what the do's and don'ts with the figure and basically just reiterate the instructions. So I like showing you what you're going to get. This is an unboxing. Yeah, this isn't a review. This is an unboxing. I'm showing you what's in here, you know? Um... I guarantee you somebody's gonna post on this video like they always do. Oh, great review! <laughs> this isn't a review! <laughs> that, they, anyway, that happened just yesterday on an unboxing. Like, oh my god, just read the title. I mean, thanks for watching, but oh my god, read the title. <laughs> okay, that screw is fucking rusted. Oh my god. You see that? That screw's rusted. I, mean, I don't give a shit, it's just a screw, but... <laughs> Thanks, Hot Toys. <laughs> okay, um... Go ahead and... Screw in this little bendy arm thingamajig. This screw on... Wow, that's very loose. Okay. <laughs> Let's check out the, the big kahuna. And it's always oh, very lightweight. Very lightweight. Um... Feels solid, though. It's just... It's, like, you could, like, balance this on your pinky, and it feels like there's nothing there. Like, there's nothing there. Nothing there. Like, oh my goodness. It's, like, huge. I'll probably never pose them with this, but, you know. I just got the deluxe edition for the extra head, because I wanted a neutral pose option instead of being in the new constant uh, mode all the time. <laughs> and, okay, I thought there was a separate tray in there, but it is not, so... Okay, we've got the hands. It's like a weird metallic paint on all these. And from what I can tell already by looking, this is going to end up being like NECA figures. Like as soon as you bend the joints, the paint's going to chip off. Because 
there's a foot in here that already has it like that. So I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. Um, okay, here's all the hands and a foot. See, there's, there's a foot, the rest are hands. And here's the foot right here that already has the paint chipping off, as you can see. I mean, that's going to be up against the body. I don't care, and I don't care about joints having paint on them anyways. But, let's see, is that going to chip? Yeah, pretty much for the most part. Let me see if I can get this one to chip. Oh, they already took the paint off of that one, so this is an error. Okay. So there shouldn't be paint on that joint. Okay, yeah, there shouldn't be paint on that joint. Hot Toys QC, yay. I love how all those people who buy Hot Toys always complain about Hot Toys QC, but we still buy these things. It's because they're that good. And next up, we have the little arrow rig. And there is tape all over this thing. I'm not even going to try and fix that while on camera. I probably should show it to you better. This thing is flimsy. Ooh, do not want to mess with this too much. This is really thin plastic. You can see there's tape all over the back here. I don't know why. Um, also, in that same tray, why didn't this get its own separate tray? Like this space for it right here. Uh, it's the back of the arrow rig, which is cool, I guess. I just wonder how the magnets are going to hold up on this thing. Because <laughs> you guys know hot toys and magnets, you know, speaking of QC. Uh, this guy has guns. Oh, this is like a fucking DL-44. There's hair! There's hair! Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> It's not even whiskers, they didn't put something like Chewbacca. Okay, this one's Asian cat hair on here. Cool. Uh, yeah, it looks like a DL44. <laughs> really nice paint job on that. And this gun is just massive. Yeah, this is, is chunky. Yeah, this is my kind of sci fi weapon right here. I like that. And let's get a little baby group. You can see this guy doesn't really come with a whole heck of a lot, but it's rocket. You gotta have rocket. So, eh, see him go. Look at that little baby group. Oh my god, that is so well detailed. That paint. He even got like the gleam in his eye at this scale. Like goddamn, hot toys. You're good. Like damn. Oof. Oof. It's giving me chills looking at that. That's just this baby group right there. And here's the clip. If you wanna. Put that on his shoulder. Like I said, I've seen that with that terrorist people's um, arm thing up. I'll show you here in a second. But yeah, I guess put that on the figure at your own risk. And we have two head sculpts. Uh, one's on the figure. One's not, which is this one. And wow, this thing's nice. I've heard a lot of people complain about the metallic paint, but like, I like it. It looks like an animal to me. It looks like real hair. A lot better than the flat paint job that was on the other rocket. I mean, look at that. Like, just looking at the head, that looks like Rocket Raccoon. You know, that's, uh, oh, that's really cool. This, oh, oh. They even get fucking amorphous animal people things right in Hollywood. Whoa, shit. Okay. Now the fun part, take off all the plastic. Angle down for you guys. See, this is just the head you get with the normal ones. Like, constant. It's like, nah, I want, I want a neutral head. I mean, I like I like the screaming head. It's cool, you know, they give us options, but I want options, you know. So that's why I pop for the deluxe edition. And okay, well, okay. Speaking of Mr. Evil Cheese, you're probably never going to see this video, um, but yeah, I, I, I watch his videos and I watch a ton of Hot Toys videos and everything. Um, he may have had a defective ball joint because he said he couldn't get his guns down like that and he couldn't get his to go up like that, and I clearly can. I mean, like, you go any further than that, it pops off, but like, with his, it would pop off no matter which way he moved it, so he may have had a defective ball joint on his. Let's go ahead and do a quick little articulation demo. Oh wow, that's that bends just like they said it should. 
And 70 degrees. Yep. Well, that seems like it's enough. Here's the part I'm talking about right here. It looks like this one's already got a little spot from the sewing machine, so I might just go ahead and put the clip on this guy. But yeah, it's like this little pleather part right here when you put the little clear clip on here, it messes it up sometimes. Now, for the most part, it's really just Xenomorph's review that I saw that did that, but I don't know. It's definitely something to be wary of, just in case it happens to yours. And this head's got a killer range of motion. <laughs> now it looks like he's laughing. <laughs> I like this. I like this figure a lot. Now the oh wow, these legs are very limited, very limited. Yeah, I mean it's pants at this whole small scale. So what more did you expect? Okay, I'm gonna do a quick cut. Get this guy in a little preliminary pose, and I'll see you guys after that. Oh my goodness, this figure is amazing. <laughs> I love the way this thing looks, like, oh my goodness, this is probably my favorite Hot Toys figure right now, not gonna fucking lie. I love the way it looks, I love the way it poses, the accessories that it comes with is fantastic. Like, especially the little baby goo, I put it on there, like, the little baby goo looks so good. And the, the air rig, the air rig's a little hard to put on, if I'm not, if I'm gonna be honest. Because there's so many intricate parts that you gotta put on, and... Um, once it's on, I think it's on, because <laughs> there's a little silver piece that goes in the middle that I could not get back off. Um, so, yeah, um, hopefully if you put that on, you like having the air rig on there, because eh, it's a little hard to get off. Uh, but, oh my god, this figure is just so amazing, guys. Look, look at, oh, I love how I paid for the deluxe edition, yet I have nothing but regular edition parts on it right now, but... This head sculpt's just so cool looking. I like it. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh. Anyways, that's going to be it for this unboxing. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is going to be Star-Lord over there. <laughs>